Hello, science students. Now is the time for our mineral identification lab, the online version. <laughs> so I've got a whole bunch of um, samples here, and I'm hanging out in my cool kitchen. So I got my snacks. So if I get hungry, I can pause and go get a snack. Hmm. Got some sour punch straws back there. I'm good to go. Hmm. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, let's get started. So, um, right here, I'm gonna try to keep this under 15. We got this. We can do this. All right. So here, you've got your data sheet. This is what you're gonna be filling in. Again, use pencil. Okay. Then you've got this sheet here, the certain mineral identification key or the chart. All right, let's go straight to it. I'm going to walk you through the first five. I'm going to pick up speed as we go along. And then um, you are going to find out the next five by yourself using your noggin. All right, so first one, sample one, this guy right here. Look at this beauty. Isn't he gorgeous? I love it. All right, this one is one of my favorites. I love it. Um, well, green is my favorite color. So, all right, so here we go. First uh, test we're going to look at Lester. Is he metallic or non-metallic? Definitely non-metallic. And I would also add that he is very glassy looking. And so in the picture here that I have on, look, I'm pointing like a, you can actually see me point. <laughs> no, right here, these two pictures here. Um, here I've got two examples where they're not quite as glassy and as opaque as this one here. Mine looks kind of glassy here. Yeah, but they're a little bit more cloudy. But either way, definitely they're the same mineral. All right, next let's look at hardness. So I ran down here. So if I was were to actually try to scratch this guy, my fingernail does not scratch it. If I take the glass hmm, and the glass here and I try to scratch it here it does not scratch glass so my fingernail is 2.5 my fingernail does not scratch it so this must be harder than my fingernail so it's harder than 2.5 but my glass here this does not scratch the glass glass is 5.5 that means that this has to be greater than 2.5, but less than 5.5. That makes sense, right? Yeah. So remember, we're doing relative hardness using our knowns, known amounts. All right, cleavage or fracture. So looking at the pictures here and then also in my sample, you're going to see that there's really no straight cleaved edges here. There's no plane of cleavage um, on here. And so this one, definitely going to be a fracture. Now, street color. It was really kind of hard to see, so I put a picture on it. But if you do, oh, look at that. You can see it. If you do look here, you can see it's this white streak right here. And then if we're also going to make a few descriptions um, of it that I would say it's definitely greenish color. It's definitely greenish color and very glassy looking uh, for it. So. Let's take this information, our observations that we did, and now let's hit the identification chart. And so I'm going to overlay our, our data collection here so we can see it. So the first thing we're going to ask ourselves or we're going to use is the metallic versus non-metallic. Well, we said that it was non-metallic, so that means that we're only going to look at this bottom of the chart. So all of those samples up here definitely can't be. This cannot be those guys. So it can be any of these so far. Now we're gonna narrow it down even further. We said it's 2.5 to 5.5. So now that means the only one of these, that ones of these that, they, that it can be is if it's 2.5 to 5.5, which is only these four. So look, that one characteristic helped us narrow it down to, even, to only four options. So then we're gonna narrow it down even further. So it's a fracture, so that means we're looking at the no, so it's not a cleavage. So we're gonna look only the nose. Oh, now we got two. So now we're gonna look at the clear streak white. Ooh, this one's hard. Oh, white or green. Didn't have any green too. It's definitely just white. So that would help us here. And then let's look at that other description. Is it greenish and glassy looking? Yep, that's it. 
So this tells us that it is fluorite, and we would be correct. This is definitely fluorite. Pretty cool, right? I like this one. All right, same as you. Now, ooh, this one's really pretty too. This guy right here. Look at that. It's pretty. Definitely, um, now, definitely, again, more glassy looking than the other two samples here. Again, um, that you saw in the video before is there's a big range of uh, within the minerals of what they can look like too, whether how cloudy or glassy, but they do have these definite characteristics here. So it's definitely this pink color. And let's uh, look at the luster. Definitely going to be non-metallic, glassy looking to be specific. Hardness, it does scratch glass. So I got a little scratch on here from where I scrunched the glass there. Yep, I slid, scratched that glass. Whew. Yep, um, so it's greater than 5.5 because my glass is 5.5. Cleavage or fracture, looking here, it looks pretty bumpy to me all over. So I would say fracture. And then street color, this one's really hard to see. Definitely not gonna see it here. That's why I put the arrow there. You cannot see that. Nope, not at all, not here. But it is very, very clear. So I can see it with my eye, but it's hard to come across here. But if you kind of look, maybe zoom in, um, definitely white and clear, whitish, clear, clear streak. And then let's, and it, we, I would also add that this is pink. Going to our chart, overlay our info. First thing we're gonna look at, metallic or not, boom. Definitely not metallic, so we're only gonna look down here again. Next, it's greater than 5.5. So let's highlight only the ones that are 5.5. So that means, oh, look, we narrowed it down to five of them. Now, fractured. So now we're looking for the N. So boom, three of them, only three. All right. And then now let's narrow it down to white and clear because we got gray, gray, dark red, white and clear. Oh, look, only the one of them. All right, so what do we think here? White, clear, boom. Is it also colorless and white with a pink tint? <gasps> yes, it is. That's right, it is. So we would say that this guy is quartz. And yes, this is definitely rose quartz. This is a um, type of quartz called the rose quartz. So I love this one too. All right, so sample three. And this one here is, oh, this is one that I used in the introduction video. Yes, so luster. Is it metallic or non-metallic? Well, it's shiny, but it's not really a metallic at all. So it's not non-metallic. It's glassy looking, so it does look kind of glassy. Um, hardness, it's, your my fingernail does easily scratch it. So my fingernail is 2.5. So if I just scratch it here, I can easily see a mark on there. I don't think you can see that, but um, you can easily see a mark on there. So that means that it is less than 2.5. Cleavage or fracture. Like I had, used, I had used this as an example before, cleavage of one plane. It looks like it's been cleaved into straight like stacks of paper, like a stack here. Thin sheets. So this is definitely... Um, a thin sheet. Um, oh, I skipped ahead. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, a thin sheet here. So it's in, cleaved on a um, flexible plane. And so this one, I would definitely say cleavage. And then I kind of gave you this one here too. Light brown, yellow streak because you can barely see that on here. It's really hard to, but there is a yellow tint to it in real life. Um, this is the, the downfall in the of just a virtual lab but in real life you can see that it does have a light yellow tint to it um, on that streak plate so using this information let's go to our handy dandy chart so again non-metallic puts us straight at the bottom part of the chart less than 2.5 puts us at ooh, ooh, we still have a lot here right but let's use our other ones to um, eliminate Okay, cleavage or fracture. So we're going to look for the yeses. Oh, oh, still have a lot, right? Yeah. But now let's look at streak. And let's also look at that um, nice little characteristic of it being in flat stacks, thin stacks here. 
that is going to put us, oh, look at that. That one um, street color here eliminates all of those. Yes, does it black or brown and one perfect cleavage plane, flexible thin sheets? Look at that. Yes, it is. So this is a biotitan mica. And just FYI, a lot of your, um, or all of, all of your micas are going to be these flexible thin sheets here, but they're going to be different names like muscovite mica, biotite mica, and so this one happens to be biotite mica. All right, next, sample four. All right, ooh, look at this one. Yes, this is one that I wanted to um, use and uh, as an example. So my sample here looks a lot different than those samples here, and I did this for a purpose because mine has really been exposed to the environment. And so this is an example of how the environment can change the color of it. However, those same, um, the other characteristics are going to be the same whether you use a sample that looks like mine like this or use a sample that looks like these. So um, this is why I love the using this as an, as an example. And if you can kind of zoom in, there are parts of it that still has that, um, that color to it, that brownish color there. So... Um, right, let's get started. So definitely luster, definitely metallic. All right, now let's hardness. It does not scratch, or um, your fingernail does not scratch it, and it does not scratch glass. So it's gonna be greater than my fingernail, greater than 2.5, less than 5.5. Then fracture or cleavage. It's not a whole lot of um, flat planes here. So I would definitely say fracture. And then street color. So when you put that street color on here, you're gonna get a nice um, brown color, just like in the picture that I took this morning. Yep, right there, nice brown streak. And then a very rusty colored, if you can tell from that. It looks, and yes, the non-tarnished one here looks a lot like a penny. Hmm little, little uh, hint there. So let's go here. Go to handy dandy sheet here. Boom. Metallic. Oh, look at this. Now we're going to look at these top ones. We only have like what? Five, five options. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Hardness level 2.5 to 5.5. Boom. Ah, that eliminates the choo-choo. Fracture. So we're looking for that. No. Boom. Let's go ahead. Oh, it eliminates it to one. Let's go ahead and just double check. Does it have a brown streak? Why, well, yes, it does. Is it greenish brown rust color and may look tarnished? Why, well, yes, this definitely looks tarnished. That is definitely copper. Yes, copper pennies. So that's what uh, pennies were originally made out of was, was copper. So yes, that's where we got that. All right, next, last sample. We got this, two minutes. I'm gonna rush through this one. Ah, but it's my favorite. I love it. Okay, look how shiny and beautiful that thing is. Love this one. This one here. Excellent. Luster. Definitely going to be metallic. Hardness. Not scratched by, uh, or not scratched by fingernail, but it does not scratch glass. 2.5 to 5.5. Look at all those cleavage planes here. This is a great example of cleavage. Yes. Excellent cleavage here. All right. Street color. Look at that cool color right there. If you Played it out there, boom. Yep, definitely gray, gray streak. Definitely shiny metallic gray. It's very dense. If you could hold this to here, it's so dense. Yeah, that's kind of like a cool um, tidbit. All right, let's go here. All right, metallic, boom, right up there. 2.5 to 5.5, narrows it down to two. <gasps> Cleavage, ah, oh, is this right? Is it gray streak? Yes. Shiny metallic gray, very dense, yes. Yep, this is definitely Galena. Yes, I love this one. It's very shiny and pretty. Yes, so this is Galena. All right, so now you've got the next ones here. So I'm going to quickly go here. I'm going to show you this one. Um, I'm going to make an, a second video with your unknowns of five or six through 10 and kind of walking you through that one. So here you go if you need a little bit more uh, help than this. Sample seven. Eight, nine, ten. 
Thank you.